The SkyKid.com Movie Review The Day Will Come Released in 2016 The fact that a film is based on true events does not necessarily influence one's opinion of it, unless the tale is conveyed in such a moving manner that it is hard to remain indifferent. Such is the case with Sven Sveistrup's 2016 Danish drama The Day Will Come, written and directed by Jesper W. Nielsen. It tells the tale of two young brothers, Elmer and Eric, and their experience at a reformatory orphanage in Denmark in the 1960s. Elmer, Harold Kaiser Hermann, has deformed feet but can move around thanks to a metallic cast he wears all the time. Despite his condition, Elmer loves space and dreams of becoming an astronaut when he grows up. His older brother Eric, Albert Rudbeck Leinhardt, is mostly interested in what all adolescent boys are interested in at that age. The boys are raised by a single hard-working mother who while struggling to make ends meet, occasionally loses control over her kids, who are typical of the phrase, boys will be boys, and get into all kinds of trouble. When the boy's mother becomes sick, the authorities force her to transfer her kids to a reformatory orphanage, which is supposed to care for them while simultaneously correct their unacceptable social conduct. Being a Scandinavian film, one could expect no less from the day will come but a stark, ultra-realistic approach to storytelling. All done in a manner which does not spare its viewers in portraying violence and horrors, exploring the vulnerabilities of the young protagonists and the sadistic cruelty or bland indifference of many of the adult characters. A beautifully arranged musical score greatly enriches and enhances the film's scenes, highlighting their emotional intensity, especially the scenes of emotional suffering which cannot be conveyed by visual means alone. At the same time, it also provides a sense of time and place, one of the film's most exciting scenes is set to the famous 60s tune by the trashman, Surfin Bird. The excellence of this film would not have been possible if not for the adept casting. Both the child actors, whose expressions, especially the eyes on which the camera focuses frequently and which reveal much about their inner worlds, and the adult actors, whose repulsive actions and authoritarian take on life, will shock and disgust the viewer. The adult cast's expressions, words, and behavior display a completely different emotional state than those of the kids, but in an equally competent manner. Don't be surprised if you find yourself hating a character, such as the school director, because of his actions and beliefs. It would be surprising if you don't. It took me some time to determine the narrator's identity since the events and characters are often introduced by a person who is relating his own experience to those of the brothers while addressing the film's audience. This little enigma provides a challenge that intriguingly enriches the storytelling. Although the story told in The Day Will Come is unique on its own, I was reminded of several equally heart-wrenching films from other regions of the world, such as Aisling Walsh's 2003 Irish drama song for a raggy boy, the Canadian 1992 television miniseries The Boys of St. Vincent, the 1996 American legal crime drama Sleepers, the Hungarian Torzak, also known as Abandoned, the Russian Lessons at the End of Spring, and many others. All of those films are based on real-life events and people and take their toll on the viewer's emotions, familiarize the audience with their young protagonists, make them care deeply about them, and portray the loss of their innocence in distressing, upsetting, and moving ways. Each and every one of the films mentioned above is a masterpiece of the coming-of-age cinema and focuses on the struggle for human dignity against a dehumanizing force, system, institution, or attitude. The Day Will Come is no exception, a serious well-shot film that won't entertain you but will deliver an emotional cinematic experience you are unlikely to forget easily. You can find this and many other reviews at theskykid.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.